Do you ever watch the video on YouTube and they've claimed that they have recorded that video with an iPhone and you think the footage looks absolutely amazing? So you're like me and you go outside and record some footage on your iPhone. You get back to your computer, you open up the footage and you realize it looks absolutely horrendous. Well, today I'm going to show you how you can change your standard iPhone recording footage into top quality cinematic footage in a couple of simple steps. That's coming up in the video. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel today. As I said, I'm going to be showing you how you can turn your iPhone into a cinematic camera which records top quality footage. I'm going to show you how you can do that in a few simple steps. Now before we actually jump into it, if you are new around here and find this video useful, be sure to let me know by dropping a like on the video. Also comment down below any questions that you may have. And if you are new around here, consider subscribing to the channel. But let's jump straight to it. Okay, so to actually turn your phone into a cinematic camera, there's a few simple things that you've got to do, but they all depend on actually using the manual settings. Now, if you actually go to your iPhone camera, which I am on right now, as you can see, that is my view right in front of me. If you go to your iPhone camera, I'm going to stop shaking it around. You'll notice that if you go to video, there is actually no way that you can change any settings. Obviously, you want to be this way around, but there is no way you can actually change your settings. You can literally change the brightness if you drag that up and down. That is all you can change. And obviously, you can put the flash on if you want. The only thing you can actually change is if you go to your settings on your phone and you can change it from 4K to 1080p, but they all record at 60 frames per second. So, the solution is to actually download an app that allows you to use your manual settings. Now, the best app, which I'm about to show you, actually costs £15. We'll take a look at it very, very quickly. Okay, so if you're actually looking to get that cinematic look, then you need to film with manual settings. Now, the best option is this Filmic Pro app. And obviously, as you can see, it's £15. So we're not actually going to be using that because, as I said in the title, it's actually... A free method now you can see if you actually just scroll through the photos it actually allows you to adjust pretty much everything you know you can adjust the white balance you can adjust the uh, frames per second the exposure everything you can do you can literally manually adjust as you can see the resolution frame rate audio and um, there's quite a lot of things that you can actually adjust but as I said this is the free option so if you want to download filmic pro that will give you what you need, but it is an expensive option. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at an app which is free, which if you actually use a small £3 in-app purchase, that will actually solve all the problems. Okay, so this is the application that we will be using. As you can see right now on my iPhone, it's called Pro Movie. Now, this is the free version, and as you can see there in the yellow, it does say remove watermark only two pounds 99 now that's obviously where it stops being free but the app is actually free to download obviously if you want to remove the watermark you can do so and obviously that literally gives you all of these settings without any kind of hiccup now as you can see this is where you turn the footage cinematic you can actually set the aspect ratio i believe it actually comes set to four by three but if you change it to six by 19 then you can actually select your resolution you can go all the way up to 4k i'm keeping it at 1080 and you can drop the frame rate to 24 frames per second now if you didn't know that is how you achieve the cinematic look you record in 24 frames per second that's what i'm recording on right now even though i don't need cinematics because i'm literally sat in a chair i always record vlogs and travel films in 24 frames per second and that is how you actually achieve the cinematic look on your iPhone. Obviously, you can set the quality in terms of megabits per second to max. That's what I've got it at, but you can change it to low um, or high. I've got a very high um, storage on my iPhone as it is relatively new, so I will be going for max, and that's what you do. You just set them settings, and that's pretty much you on your way. Now, as you can see on the screen, there's a lot of other settings you can change. Obviously, if you actually go to the settings tab, you can change a few other things in terms of you can put a grid on the screen so you can actually get your uh, composition right. Um, you can change the microphone. Obviously, I'm recording with the Rode SmartLav. Uh, plus, if you've not seen the review of that, go and check it out. There will be a link down below in the description. But I'm recording with my iPad for that, so that's why it is set to the iPhone microphone. 
but obviously if you have an, another microphone that you can plug in then you can select that as the recording device you can change the sample rate uh, to 48 hertz i'm not sure why it's not letting me for the iphone microphone maybe it doesn't go to that level but you can change that if you want to and then there's a lot of other options down here so if i just change that um, I'll actually go out a bit so you can actually see this a bit better. Obviously, you've just got a nice view of my keyboard right now. I will actually include some sample footage in just a moment. But as you can see, we've already changed the um, frames per second. Now, you want to change the shutter speed to a roughly double your um, frames per second. So we're going to set it to 48 if I can just about get it to there it's it's slow i keep missing it by one 47 come on let's get it to 48 no not 49 there we go we're on 48 that is now double the frames per second and that's what you want to use for your shutter speed so if you're going for 30 fps get it to 60 if you're going for 60 fps set it to 120 or if you are going for the cinematic look set it to one uh, sorry 48 on the shutter speed now iso is obviously the exposure that the camera um, you know the brightness that the camera lets in i'm not going to go into specific tech details or anything like that but as you can see in the bottom left hand corner now i wish i could show you but that little um it's like i'm not too sure the actual name for it but the orange thing that's lit up in the bottom left hand corner of the screen now actually tells you whether you're overexposed you want that to land in exactly the middle of the screen so if we go to the iso and we turn it down to about 200 i believe that's what i'm recording with on my um sony rx 100 mark 5 and then you set the exposure a bit higher if it's set right into the middle then obviously you're perfectly you know fine you're not overexposed and you're not underexposed you can also change the white balance if you've got any um cards you can change the white balance or you can just set some of the presets that it does give you which is a pretty cool feature and obviously you can actually adjust the focus if you so wish um, I think it actually does autofocus here, yeah, it does autofocus, so as you can see if I move away and then move closer, it's actually focusing by itself, so you kind of want to keep that the same, and obviously the zoom, um, I believe you can just do that, or you can probably use your fingers, I'm not too sure on that, let me have a look, you actually can't use your fingers, so if you do want to zoom, you will have to use that, but it is a pretty cool feature to have. And as I said, you can literally change everything to give you the exact settings that you want, which you cannot do in the regular iPhone camera app. So that is why you need to download some kind of application like this to achieve the cinematic look. Okay, so I'm going to include some sample footage right now. And obviously it's going to have the watermark because I've not paid for the full version. But if you do decide to get rid of the watermark, then you have set yourself up to be allowed to record cinematic footage on your iPhone for just three pounds or obviously if you just want to download the application it is for free which is a huge thing rather than just recording uh, automatically on your iphone camera app you now have full control of every setting that you'd have in a normal camera <laughs> Okay, so having a look at the sample footage, it is pretty decent and I can say that if you do start to use an application like this, you will have full control and you will be able to make your footage look exactly how you want it and give you that cinematic look. If you have found this video useful, be sure to let me know by dropping a like on the video. Comment down below any questions you may have or if you find a better application or if you've downloaded Filmic Pro, do let me know because obviously it is £15. I'm not going to go for it because I obviously record on my camera. But if anyone has used a better application or has a better solution, do let me know in the comments and I will be sure to take a look at it. If you are new around here, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. But thank you all for watching, guys. Until next time, goodbye.